It's an 83 to 59 Buffalo Bulls victory over the Ball State Cardinals as the Bulls improved to 19 and 2 on the year and 7 and 1 in the MAC. Welcome to our ESPN3 postgame show. I'm Paul Peck with Amy Otterberg, joined by Bulls head coach Nate Oates. Where does this one, Nate, rank on your uh, complete victory list for the season? Pretty low. We, it was ugly. I mean, we couldn't make a shot. We under 50% at the free throw line. Or what were we, 12 for 24? So I guess right at 50%, 7 out of 31 from 3. All right, well, can I can I rebut you here by saying you held Ball State to 2 of 23 from 3-point distance. You had 17 assists and only 8 turnovers. That's positive. And you had 9 guys score. That's all good, right? That is positive. We did have our, got our turnovers down. It would be nice if we could make a shot. So, I, you know, sometimes you got to win different ways. Our guys won. I thought we were great on defense for large stretches of the game. I, I think the only thing really hurt us we had some dumb fouls and gave up some old boards in the second half other than that I thought our defense kind of carried us because our offense uh, disappeared for uh, large stretches tonight hey, coach what does it tell you about your team you didn't get Nick Perkins his usual performance Jeremy started slow but you still managed to be successful and get it done what does that tell you about your team moving forward yeah I mean Jeremy you know he couldn't make a shot but he still had 11 rebounds and Javon was determined to get double digit rebounds he was all over the glass he led us with 12 rebounds so you know, even when we couldn't shoot, you know, we ended up with 16 on board. So we had got ourselves plenty of second chances. I thought our effort was good. Jeremy played hard on defense. Just, uh, you know, I don't think he'll shoot this poorly again. I, he's too good a shooter to do it like this again. So I'm uh, not too worried about that, but it would, would be nice for a few more went in for us. You ask Dante Carruthers to do so many things for you, then he does so many of them well, particularly on the inspiration front and the defensive front. But what does it mean to this team when he comes out and scores, not only like he did tonight with 21, but that's back to back games and double figures for him? Yeah, you know, he's four for four in the last two games from three. So just got to get him to take more. You know, he, the one there in the first half, he turned down a wide open three, drove it in, and turned it over. I pulled him out. I told him, I'm pulling you out every time you turn down an open three because. It always ends up in a turnover. So then he took the next two and he went two for two. So, you know, he, we just got to get him to keep shooting open threes. And he's play, I mean, he plays so hard on defense that everybody wants good things to come for him on offense. So, you know, I'm happy for him. I, I didn't realize he had 21. He was getting to the rim when he, whenever he wanted. So he, he had a pretty good game for us. Off question, off court question. Paul and I are proud of ourselves. We got 20 Queen references in our broadcast tonight. Are you a Queen fan? We got what? Queen. Queen, Queen. Queen. Queen was oh, the yeah, Bohemian yeah, yeah, Rhapsody. Yeah, yeah. Was, What's yeah, your favorite you know, Queen song? You a Queen fan? You know, back in the day a little bit. I uh shoot, I don't know. You'd have to you'd have to give me a list of five and I could tell you which one, but All right. uh, how about bit, another one? How about one. we are the champions? There you go. There, that's that the works one I was good thinking for you, of. doesn't yeah, it? That, that's a good sports song too. Yes, it is. There, there you go. Yes, that, it is. Nate, congratulations on the twenty first straight Amy. victory here at home for the Buffalo Bulls. Another big one for the Bulls. We thank Nate for a couple of minutes of his time here on the post game show. Nate, he'll have his song references ready for us next time. Our player of the game is Dante Carruthers with twenty one points to go along with three rebounds and a whole bunch of drawn charges and a whole bunch of inspirational moments and Dante joins us here for the post game show what's gotten into you lately with uh, with the offense and we know you know how to do this but all of a sudden now that's two really good offensive games for you uh, well I just want to credit my teammates and my coaches they are just staying with me um, I pass up a lot of shots that I should be taking. So these past couple games, I know we got a lot of players that's averaging double figures. So just trying to stay inside uh, attack mode and, uh, and it paid off. Taylor Persons for Ball State, obviously they wanted to go through him. Yeah. You're a, one of the top defensive players. You guys held him to six points tonight. It seemed like you flustered him all over the court. How much of that do you take on personally coming into the game, knowing what your assignment's going to be? Uh, I really didn't know that until just now. But, um, <laughs> It's just film, film, film. Uh, I study him a week, a week ahead, two weeks ahead, because uh, we got great guards, and uh, we all know our big is going to do their job. So it's just trying to take care of the things that myself and Devonte can't control, and that's playing defense on the best guards. You know, from about 12 minutes or so to go in this game, this this kind of turned into uh, who could top who on the highlight reel for you guys. How much fun is it to be able to do the hard work early to put yourselves in a position to kind of have fun like that? Oh, it's real fun. That's one thing that, you know, our coaches and everybody preaches just having fun. So I think tonight, you know, it probably 
wasn't our best game, but everybody had fun. And finally for you, Dante, that's 21 straight wins here at home. Uh, uh, the students finally back tonight. Uh, a pretty good crowd under the conditions of what the yeah. weather is like outside. What, what makes this place so special for you guys? Um, just the, the people out here, you know, the city of Buffalo, our student sections. Uh, I credit them for coming out in a storm, but it's, it's just like a six man out there. You know, our team, we feed off the fans and how loud they get. So just trying to play for them. With 21 points, Dante Carruthers is our player of the game. Thanks for a couple of minutes, Dante. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, Amy, uh, am I, was I wrong with Nate Oates in thinking that this was a pretty good win for his team? I know coaches will always find something they don't like. Yeah, I mean, wins are wins, and sometimes they're going to be gritty. And conference wins, I mean, they're big time. This is a tough conference, and, and so everyone you get, you're pretty proud of. Yeah, the Bulls did not shoot great, but... Ball State shot worse, and a lot of that had to do with the way that the Bulls played defense. So it's another victory for Buffalo, and they head to a big showdown, a Mac East showdown, with the Bowling Green Falcons on Friday. The crowd was fired up. They were sure we're ready to rock everybody here. Buffalo gets the 83-59 win. Next game for the men comes up on Friday. Our next broadcast next Wednesday when the women take on Toledo. For Amy Audibert and our entire crew, my name is Paul Peck. Be safe out there, Western New York. Thanks for joining us tonight. This has been a presentation of ESPN.